QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022 Convert from CSV to QBO Web Connect File. Get ready because we bookkeeping pros are moving up the hilltop with QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022. Here we are in our QuickBooks Bank Feed Practice File going through the setup process with the View drop down, the Open Windows list on the left hand side, Company drop down, Home Page in the middle, maximizing that home page to the gray area. In the last presentation, we thought about getting the information from a PayPal account, which we currently cannot connect automatically using the bank feeds. So we downloaded the information from PayPal, the banking types of transactions. However, we don't have the option from the PayPal side of things on the financial institution at this time to get a QuickBook type of file to just directly uh, import it. What we're looking for, in other words, is to go to the banking drop down, bank feeds, and we would like to set up the web connect type of file, but we don't have that at this point in time. So we've got to convert from a CSV file to the web connect. So at this time, we have downloaded the information. We formatted the information into this CSV file, which looks kind of like an Excel file, but is actually what they call a, a Microsoft Excel comma separated values file. And we want to convert it now to this type of file, which is kind of like the banking file that you would be downloading from an, an institution if it had the capacity to give you that kind of file. So we've, you're using this software. This is just one option. I'm not affiliated with this converting type of software, but we're, we're going to need to convert it if we want to get it uploaded. I think this software has a free version for, as well, but there's a limitation on like 10, 10 of the transactions at a time or something like that. So you can look into other options basically for that conversion. But at this point, we need to do the conversion in one some shape or form. So if I go back on, this is what the software looks like. So I'm opening up that software. It looks like this. So I'm just going to browse up top. I'm going to say browse and I'm going to find that file, which was on my desktop. It's on the top of my desk right there. It's on the PayPal file, pulling that in place. So there are the information. It looks like it's pulling in properly. It's got the date. It's got the amount. It's got the deposit. So it's got the one column kind of transaction and then broken out like deposits on the left and then the withdrawals on the right. So I think it looks good. The name is pulling over. And so let's go with that. We're going to say, all right, let's go with it. So on the right hand side, we're going to say, I'm just going to keep that as the default. This is the main thing we want here. We want it to be a QBO type of file. And so then I'm going to keep this as is. It's going to be uh, U.S. I'm going to keep it at U.S. for me. Uh, currency, USD, U.S. dollar. So we got exchange rate isn't something that's applicable for me. Banking ID. I'm going to try not opening, not using that and seeing if that will be okay. I'm not going to open it afterwards, meaning I don't want it to just try to open as soon as I make it because I would like to then open it myself. I want to open it myself. So I'm going to hit the convert and see what happens. My fingers are crossed. We're going to put this on our desktop and I'll call it just the PayPal to PayPal to desktop converting. And then I'm going to minimize this one. And so there we have it. There's our PayPal to. So now we've got the PayPal to has been converted to this type of file, which looks really nice. It looks about the same. So now next time what we're going to do is take that one and just import it into the QuickBooks in the same fashion as we've seen in the prior presentations with the banking and credit card and then we'll be back to that bank feed limbo type of situation and we can further enter transactions and do some of that inter uh, company transactions between the transfers from for example paypal to the checking account